What is up, guys? I got a little Tackle Warehouse unboxing for you guys. This is like a $350 Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Let's get right into it. Alright. I'll start off with the first two little guys. First one is a reel. This is the Concept A. I got this on Black Friday. I, I kind of got these all packages in different times, so I kind of just waited for an unboxing so I can do a big unboxing. This is the Concept A. I got it for $140 on uh, Black Friday. Really nice. I got it in a 661 for I basically can use this for anything like spinner bait, crank bait, anything. And then I got this. And then the rod I got for this is a. I got a cheap rod because it was an expensive reel. I really, I usually don't spend $140 in a reel. So I got that for Black Friday because it was a good deal. I got two rods actually. Okay. Okay. I got two rods. Get some of the stuff out of the way. This is all, all this stuff is going into a trip I'm going to, which is, uh, if you guys don't know who Gary Yamamoto is, it's the BK Ranch, Gary Yamamoto Ranch, giant bass catch there, caught there, so let's get this unboxed, I'll figure that out later, I'll get into the next box, which, uh, one bait hasn't came yet, it's the Huddleston, <laughs> first bit I got is the 6 inch BBZ, Spro swim bait. Let's just crack this baby open. I thought it'd be smaller than this, but it's a big bait. It's a pretty big bait. I like the colors. I think this came in a what is what did it come in? I think it came in a thread fin. Right, not, let me see. What did it come in? Sexy, sexy lavender shad it came in. All right, next big swim bit I got is the Huddleston baby trout. Okay. Now I got a 68 special, uh, oh uh, my God, what's it, perch? Because uh, I live in Wisconsin and there's a lot of perch. Wisconsin. This is the six inch Huddleston baby trout. I've always wanted to get a Huddleston and just this I'm happy I got this. It's it is pricey. It's twenty five dollars for one of these baits. And uh on reviews I've seen is if a pike eats this it's basically destroyed. So and there is a lot of pike in Wisconsin with these baits I'm using basically in uh the Gary Emma Motor Ranch. Because right now there's six inches of ice on our lake, so I can't throw it. The next couple baits I got were some uh, jigs. I got three new jigs because they were $1.50 on Tackle Warehouse for the Christmas 25 days of saving. I just got some jigs. I got a pigskin jig, first one. Another pigskin jig. The colors of these is... I can't find it. But this is just... Orange and brown, black, yellow, brown and black, and then just a regular black and blue jig. Then I got my favorite swim jig. I got this in a three eighth ounce, and then I got it. I got two and three eighth ounce swim jigs. These are my favorite swim jigs. I catch a lot of bass on these. I love them. Now that's the bait part of this. Yeah, where's my sticker? I didn't get a sticker, sadly. Oh, wait a second. I don't know if I didn't get a sticker, sadly. All right, let's open these rod these rods up. I will leave all the all the details in the link in the description. Oh, here they are. <clears throat> if you guys want to go buy these, because I love Tech Warehouse. It's like my go-to spot to get rods. Okay. 
is definitely fresh. This is the seven foot one heavy for the upcoming reel hopefully I'm getting, which is the Crado K, which I'm really excited to get, which I am getting soon. Put this right on my bed. And then the next ride, which we paired up with the Concept A, which I'm really excited about that combo. You guys wanna see the bearing system? Concept A. I've, I've, this is my first Fishing 13 reel, and hopefully it, it works out well because I wanted to try it Fishing 13. I've heard great reviews on Fishing 13. I got their best seller because everybody seems to like the either the Concept C or the Concept A. Concept C was kind of pricey, so I decided to pass on that. But It was just good because... Black Friday saved me a lot of, a lot of money. It was a great deal. I think it was 25% off. Awesome. I like this. I read the reviews on this rod, and they said it's the best rod for the price. So I'm like, I'm happy about that because it was only sixty dollars, uh, a lot cheaper rod than I usually get. But I'll try it out. I get if the tip breaks, it's only sixty dollars. So it's an inexpensive rod. Okay, pick it up. Let's see how it looks. She's a beaut. You guys want to see that? Concept Day on the Defy Black. I'll leave it the link in the description if you'd like to go buy one of these. Just feels good. I got this rod in a 7 foot 1 medium fast, so I can use basically any bait on it. Excited about that. Oh, this is awesome. Soon I'll be out in the water chucking some spinner baits. Alright, anything else? No. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this boxing. This is my first video. Uh, unboxing isn't my favorite. I like to go out and actually fish with these new baits I got. But I am excited. Stay tuned. In April, I'm going to Gary Amamoto Ranch. So hopefully we'll go catch some giant bass with these new baits in Gary Amamoto. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.